Heidi, when we look at this, it is kind of interesting to see the fallout from areas that were hit by this. When you had people working from home in China, the uptick in divorce uh, and divorce rates over there, another interesting data point to look at uh, and potentially what could happen here in the U.S. You know, it's kind of funny, Zach. I think when everything starts to blow over, the main question is going to be, OK, were there more divorces because of this COVID-19 outbreak or are we going to see more childbirth? I think that has been an argument amongst a lot of people at this point. But yes, people in China, more and more of them have been filing for divorce. Places are getting overwhelmed with those filings. So it seems as if some people, on one hand, are finding it very difficult to be locked in their homes with their significant other for prolonged periods of time. But there have been some people that said they re-fell in love with their partner because they were able to spend more time with them before they weren't able to really connect again on a deeper level because they were separated through work. But yes, there are both sides to this, Zach, but we are seeing a huge uptick in divorces in China. It'll be a big question whether or not we see that in the U.S. as well. Ever the optimist, Heidi Chung, saying that there's always a chance to re-fall in love with people out there, except for those of us who are working from home alone. No chance to fall in love with you haven't already loved. Uh, Heidi Chung, bringing us that. Appreciate it. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.